What's going on, YouTube and PFF family? It's your boy, Dumbbell Dallas, here where we're all natty all the time. We put fitness first. Today, I'm giving you guys a special video because I'm not giving you guys advice and insight on how to conquer your fitness goals in the gym. I'm gonna show you how to do it at home in your kitchen. Now, lately, I've been getting a lot of messages and stuff from people asking me, you know, uh, how, what do I put in my protein shakes and how to make protein shakes? You know, so today I'm gonna give you guys instructional videos on how I personally make my protein shakes. So you guys don't have to always go spend your money at, you know, Smoothie King and, you know, not get as much out of it as what you're putting into it. So I'm going to show you guys, you know, my ingredients and exactly how I do it. So today, starting off here, we got some ice cold water, you know, nothing crazy. We got two different proteins that I use. These are two different proteins I'm using right now. We got peanut butter and almond butter. Honey, we got superfoods, green superfoods. I don't know if you guys can see that. Zoom in. Green superfoods. Get it at Kroger. And we got half of a banana chopped and sliced up. Once you got all your ingredients in front of you, got your blender. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some water, pour it into the blender. Now I don't usually use, you know, precise measurements. I usually just eyeball it a little bit. So I pour it till I feel like there's a good enough amount of water in there. And I know a lot of people use um, milk in their proteins, but I use water because I find that it doesn't make me as bloated when I, I like after I drink it. When I drink the water, it's a lot more smoother going down. So first, first protein we got up here, blessed protein, you know. You gotta find this online and get them to ship it to you. We got blessed protein and we got what flavor is this? Uh, did it say flavor? Cookie crunch, uh, like a peanut butter cookie crunch or something like that. All right, but yeah, bless. So, since okay, so this is what I'm doing now. I'm taking two protein shakes a day, so I'm taking one before I go to the gym and one right after the gym. So. This is why my ingredients and you know my portions are gonna be this way. So first, I'm gonna use a half a scoop of the plant-based blessed protein. Half a scoop. Put that in there. Pop that up. Then I'm gonna use a full scoop of Body Fortress Super Advanced Whey Protein. You can find it just at Walmart. You know, I got the chocolate peanut butter for this one. And we're gonna do a full scoop of this. Full scoop. Boom. All right. Next, I'm gonna do my super greens. Now, since I'm doing two shakes a day, um, this also, by the way, guys, this gives you your full, full day's amount of fruits, veggies, vitamins, and minerals. So. You need it, you know what I'm saying? Just take one scoop and you, you know, you got it all in one, one little scoop. You know, it, it's for natural energy, promotes detox, helps alkalize, aids digestion and supports immunity. Uh, it has a lot of good stuff in here. It has wheatgrass, spinach, beetroot, carrot, pineapple, acai berry, a bunch of different stuff in here, but this is really good for you guys. So I don't always, I'm very picky. I don't always eat all the vegetables in the world. I love fruits. I don't eat all the vegetables in the world, so I use this to supplement what I don't get from my fruits and veggies. So, uh, half a scoop, superfoods, baby, green superfoods. All right. So next, we're gonna do a scoop of peanut butter, and I forgot my spoon. Be right back. All right, so we're back, got my spoon. I'm gonna just do one big healthy scoop. Protein, not protein, peanut butter, my bad. One good healthy scoop of the peanut butter. I'm back, how you get a new spoon for my almond butter. You know, couldn't be mixing it, no cross contamination. For all my chefs out there and all my science majors, you know, you gotta watch out for the cross contamination. All right, so, I mean, I use almond butter and peanut butter for my protein shakes. You can use either or. I happen to like them both. I know some people don't like peanut butter as much, so they use almond butter. But 
I put both in mine. I feel like it's not gonna make a, but I mean, it's gonna make a taste difference, but you know, I'm still getting that good protein in. All right, so I got my peanut butter, got my almond butter. Now I'm gonna put my bananas in there, half a banana, chop it up, you know what I'm saying? And guys, by the way, um, when using this, you know, ingredients, I'm just showing you guys what I specifically do to make my protein shakes now. You know, this is just to help you guys, give you guys some ideas on, you know, what specifically you can put in your protein shake to make it better personally for you. This is what I do for me to make me like protein. It's not like taking a protein shake, you know, you get happy, you like, I'm gonna take a protein shake, you know, you lit, but you know, you gotta make it as good for you as possible. So these are the ingredients I use. So, you know, if you don't like bananas, you can use like strawberries or if you don't wanna use either one of the butters, you don't have to, but you know, this is what something I personally do. And I just wanted to, you know, I feel like this will help a lot of people. So next, and last, we got the honey. I'm saying it had a little flavor to it. Honey's also good for you too. A spoon of honey a day. And this is everything. Only thing we're missing, hold on. Only thing we're missing now is ice. And also, I pour a little bit more water on top just so it won't be as thick. You know, it could be kind of smooth as I'm chunking it back because I like to just throw it all back at once. So this right here is my pre-workout protein shake right here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up for you guys and show you what it looks like. I just finished blending it up and I do use a blender for my shakes. I know you can shake it up if you want to, but for me, I feel like it's more smoother and, and it tastes better once you blend it up rather than shaking it up because sometimes you don't, you get those little chunky chunks at the back, at the end of the, the protein shake when you shake it up and it's not as smooth and good, so. So in my uh, body fortress, I'm doing one scoop of this. So in one scoop, it's six BCAs and 30 grams of protein. And then I did half a scoop of this blessed protein and it's 20 grams per scoop, 23 grams per scoop. So that's like 12 grams, 11, 12 grams per scoop. So just in this one shake, I'm getting a little bit over, getting a little bit over 40 grams of protein out of this shake. Cause it's not including, you know, what I'm doing for my peanut butter and almond butter. So, you know, you're getting some pretty good protein out of this shake. And then I'm gonna take one more after I work out. So that's a lot of, you know, that's two good shakes I'm taking throughout the day. It's gonna give me a good amount of protein in. All right, guys, if you like this video, make sure to go ahead and leave a thumbs up and share this with somebody they might need, you know, this video, you know, teach them how to make their own little homemade protein shakes. And also guys, if you wanna see any more specific content from me, make sure to leave a comment below and I can do that for you guys. You know, maybe you wanna see a certain workout or maybe you wanna see me cook something or talk about a specific topic. Just make sure to leave that comment below and I'll put that out for you guys. All right, your boy Dumbbell Dally, out.